Unit 4, Lesson 14, Fractional Lengths in Triangles and Prisms. Number 1. Claire is using little wooden cubes with edge length 1 half inch to build a larger cube that has edge length 4 inches. How many little cubes does she need? Explain your reasoning. This drawing represents an edge length of 4 inches. It has markings every half inch. There are a total of eight half inch sections that fit into the four inch edge line. This drawing represents the height, width, and length of the cube, each four inches in length with eight sections of half inches fitting inside each four inch edge line. Eight times eight times eight equals 512. To make a cube with four inch edge lengths, Claire would need 512 half inch cubes. Number two, the triangle has an area of seven and seven eighths centimeters squared and a base of five and one fourth centimeters. What is the length of H? Explain your reasoning. The area of a rectangle is one half of base times height. In this case, the area is seven and seven eighths centimeters squared and the base is five and one fourth centimeters. The height is unknown. Here I show half of the base. Since the area was in eighths, I'm going to make the base in eighths as well. First, I'm gonna cut five in half. Half of five is two and four eighths. Now I'm gonna cut the one fourth in half. Half of one fourth is one eighth. Adding them together, I get two and five eighths. The area of seven and seven eighths is equal to two and five eighths times height. The area 7 and 7 eighths can be represented as 63 eighths, and the base 2 and 5 eighths can be represented as 21 eighths. 63 eighths divided by 21 eighths will equal the height. To find that answer, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of 21 eighths. 63 eighths times 8 over 21 will equal the height. And 63 eighths times 8 over 21 equals 3. The height of the triangle is three centimeters. Number three A, which of the following expressions can be used to find how many cubes with edge length of one third unit fit in a prism that is five units by five units by eight units? Explain or show your reasoning. Cubes with the edge length of one third unit would be small enough to fit three cubes in each unit. So I selected five times three times five times three times eight times three, which by the way, turns out to be 5,400 cubes. B, my says that we can also find the answer by multiplying the edge lengths of the prism and then multiplying the result by 27. Do you agree with her statement? Explain your reasoning. I agree. My is correct because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So 5 times 5 times 8 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 5,400. Just like 5 times 5 times 8 times 27 equals 5,400. Remember, when multiplying, the order doesn't matter. We could even do 5 times 3 times 5 times 3 times 8 times 3 and we'd still get 5,400. Number four, a builder is building a fence with six and one fourth inch wide wooden boards arranged side by side with no gaps. How many boards are needed to build a fence that is 150 inches long? Show your reasoning. 150 inches long divided by boards that are six and one fourth inches wide can be written as 150 divided by 25 over four. And to find this answer, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 25 over 4. 150 times 4 over 25. And 150 times 4 over 25 equals 24. 24 boards are needed. Number 5. Find the value of each expression. Show your reasoning and check your answer. A. 2 and 1 seventh divided by 2 sevenths. 2 and 1 seventh can be written as 15 sevenths. 15 sevenths divided by 2 sevenths can be answered by multiplying by the reciprocal of 2 sevenths. 15 sevenths times 
7 over 2 equals 15 halves or 7 and 1 half. B. 17 twentieths divided by 1 fourth. That can be answered by multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 fourth. 17 twentieths times 4 over 1. 17 twentieths times 4 over 1 equals 17 fifths or 3 and 2 fifths. Number 6. A bucket contains 11 and 2 thirds gallons of water and is 5 sixths full. How many gallons of water would be in a full bucket? Write a multiplication and a division equation to represent the situation, and then find the answer. Show your reasoning. 5 sixths times what number equals 11 and 2 thirds? 11 and 2 thirds divided by 5 sixths equals what number? And we can find the answer by multiplying by the reciprocal of 5 sixths and by representing 11 and 2 thirds as 35 thirds. 35 thirds times 6 fifths equals 14. Number 7. There are 80 kids in a gym. 75% are wearing socks. How many are not wearing socks? If you get stuck, consider using a tape diagram showing sections that each represent 25% of the kids in the gym. If 25% of the kids are not wearing socks, then one-fourth of the kids are not wearing socks, since 25% is the same as one-fourth. And one-fourth of 80 is one-fourth times 80. And one-fourth times 80 is 20. 20 people out of 80 are not wearing socks. Number 8. A. Lynn wants to save $75 for a trip to the city. If she has saved $37.50 so far, what percentage of her goal has she saved? What percentage remains? 100% of her goal is $75. She has already saved $37.50, and I noticed that that's half of 75. 75 divided by 2 equals $37.50. So I need to divide the 100% by 2. 100 divided by 2 equals 50. So $37.50 represents 50% of her goal. She has saved 50% of her goal and 50% remains. B. Noah wants to save $60 so that he can purchase a concert ticket. If he has saved $45 so far, what percentage of his goal has he saved? What percentage remains? 100% of his goal is $60. So far he saved $45. This chart shows that $45 is 75% of his goal. He has saved 75% of his goal and 25% remains. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 4, Lesson 14, Fractional Lengths in Triangles and Prisms.